let's uh, look at the concept of apparent viscosity also given the symbol mu a note that in some of the other modules we have seen dynamic viscosity and we have used the symbol mu and also kinematic viscosity where we divide the dynamic viscosity mu with the density and we use the symbol nu now for non-Newtonian liquids, we have seen, uh, again in other modules, a plot between uh, shear stress and shear rate for two types of uh, liquids, a shear thinning liquid or a shear thickening liquid, as we see here. Now, we can look at the shear thinning liquid in a separate plot between sigma and gamma dot, shear stress and shear rate. So if we conducted an experiment for a liquid food that shows shear thinning behavior, let's say that we measure at a given shear rate the shear stress for that sample and we identify a point on this chart and we draw a straight line to the origin and then from that slope of the line we get a value for viscosity that will be the apparent viscosity for that liquid sample and we call it mu a1 and then we take the same liquid food and we measure the shear stress at a different shear rate and again we draw a line all the way to the origin and find out the slope which gives us mu a2 and we again repeat the experiment and find another point where we again going to the origin find mu a3 and we will notice that the second viscosity value will be lower than the first viscosity value the third viscosity will be lower than the second value in other words the liquid is becoming thinner uh, viscosity is decreasing as we increase the shear rate so we have here a case where the apparent viscosity mu a decreases as the shear rate increases in other words of course it's shear thinning so we can plot apparent viscosity versus shear rate and the plot will look something like this the apparent viscosity will be high at low shear rates and then it decreases and then reaches some asymptotic value again observing that the shear stress shear rate curve shows asymptotic value at high shear rates we notice that the apparent viscosity decreases typically in the range of 0.5 to 100 per second for shear rate so in case of uh, power law liquids that show this shear thinning behavior the rheological properties are measured between 0.5 and 100 per second now a word of caution that whenever apparent viscosity is given the corresponding shear rate must also be given otherwise the value of apparent viscosity is meaningless and you may find in literature omissions such as these where the authors may have overlooked giving the value for shear rate for the measured apparent viscosity well this type of mistake should not be made any time an apparent viscosity is given the corresponding shear rate must also be given since you can see from that plot that the apparent viscosity is very much dependent on the shear rate that is selected